Hi everyone, this is Mr. Flying Pig HD here with a top video for you. Today we're having a look at the players who played for Manchester United and never quite reached their potential for whatever reason. I myself had the potential to be the English Peter Schmeichel, but I chose a different path and fulfilled my potential to eat all of the pies instead. Let's get started. Number 5, Lee Sharp. A younger generation may not remember what a good player Lee Sharp was and may just remember him for being that dodgy bloke who's on every celebrity reality show that's ever been made. Well he is that but he could have been so much more. When Lee Sharp was 20 he was a regular for Manchester United and a full England international. By age 32 he had been released by Bradford, Grindavik and Exeter and retired pretty early. His skill and ability on the left of midfield well respected throughout the game whilst at United but ultimately faced with the challenge of keeping a 17 year old Ryan Giggs out the side which didn't work out too well for him. A player known to like a drink and a party, it was known Sir Alex Ferguson was not a fan of his playboy lifestyle and during the running of the 91-92 season, Alex Ferguson turned up at Lee Sharp's house and broke up a party which Giggsy was also attending, of course he was, and warned them about their future conduct. Lee Sharp never fulfilled his potential, which in my opinion could have been that of a Giggsy or a Beckham, but his mentality perhaps let him down. Number 4, Ravel Morrison. Only 23 years old, Ravel could still fulfil his potential and plays at a good level for Lazio in Serie A currently. His attitude questioned by many, including Sir Alex Ferguson, who sold him to West Ham when it became clear he's going to be too much to handle. As a teen, he was touted as potentially being a world-class player and has shown glimpses throughout his career, but personal problems have hampered this. In 2011, he received a 12-month referral order for two counts of witness intimidation and in 2014 was charged with two counts of common assault against a former girlfriend and her mother. He was cleared of the charges in 2015, but it's clear from an outsider looking in that he's got more issues than Inside United magazine. He's not the messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Number 3, George Best. George Best, a Belfast boy, was simply one of the greatest players to grace the game. He had pace, skill, trickery, balance and ability to beat a man with such ease. So what's he doing on this disc, you ask? Unfortunately, a life of boozing and partying meant that this impact on the game was cut short and it was these vices that ultimately cost him his life. Thrust into the United first team at the age of 17, he stayed in the side for 11 years playing 474 times for the United and scoring 181 goals along the way, winning the league twice, the European Cup once and a Ballon d'Or for himself in 1968. The reason he's on this list is because he announced his retirement age just 25 though playing for the club for another few years after that. His alcoholism and party lifestyle continued to grow after leaving and he actually played for 16 football clubs after leaving United but his lifestyle having took its toll on him, his natural ability could no longer carry him as far as it once did and he never reached the heights of those days at United again. Considered one of the greatest players of all time anyway but just imagine what best could have done in the game if he kept himself clean and lived like an athlete. The mind boggles. Number 2, Adrian Doherty. The class of 92, the legendary group of players who emerged from United's academy and went on to achieve so much in the game, the likes of Giggs, Skulls, Beckham and the Nevilles, the most notable going down in history. However, when they were teenagers playing together around 15 years of age, it was Adrian Doherty who was the highest regarded of them all. Adrian's is a sad story as at age 16, just a few days before being due to make his United first team debut, he suffered a cruciate ligament injury which kept him out for two years and he was never the same player again after, finding it tough to recover and missing out on a key part of his development. He moved to Derry City where he played just three times before retiring from the game still in his teens. When Doherty was 26 years old, he moved to Amsterdam where he slipped into a canal and after a month in a coma, died a day before his 27th birthday. What a tragic loss. What could have come of Adrian Doherty if he hadn't picked up that terrible injury? Number one, Duncan Edwards. Big Dunk. Perhaps the most tragic story on this list, he became the youngest first division player in history when he made his debut for Man United, aged just 16 years and 185 days. Over the next couple of years, he became a United regular and England's youngest post-war player right up until Michael Owen played for England in 98. Considered by his peers and journalists at the time as a world-class talent even at that age, in a short time he showed the potential to be the very best player in the world. When Duncan Edwards was 21 years old, he had played 151 times for the Red Devils, a remarkable feat. But at that same age, he was one of the eight players who tragically lost their lives in the Munich air disaster in 1958. So sadly for Duncan and sadly for the world, we never got to see just what Big Dunk would have achieved in the game, but most think it would have been incredible. 
Sir Bobby Charlton said of Edwards that he was the only player who made him feel inferior and Terry Venables said he would have lifted the World Cup as captain of England instead of Bobby Moore had he lived. Rest in peace, Big Dunk. So that was my top five list of United players who didn't fulfill their potential. Do you agree with my list? Comment below if you think I missed anyone and I hope you didn't cry too much towards the end. This is Mr. Flying Pig HD. You've been watching another top list video. Get commenting with ideas for what you'd like to see me do next. You can follow me here and here. Until next time, take it easy and I hope you fulfill your potential.